Laurence and Nick. Take one. I've been doing triathlons in the summers. I decided to share this nice uh, adventure with Nick and to teach him how to swim. I'm a terrible swimmer. I still, I'm still not great. Laurence has been an awesome teacher. She tried to get me, get me in the pool and 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 get me to swim a little bit further than 15 to 20 meters. It's just a fun little challenge. It's a nice way to be able to support each other without necessarily doing it side by side. Nikolai Sorensen and Laurence Fournier Baudry, Danish champions who will now compete for Canada. Laurence is Canadian. They have been skating for Denmark the last few years, but could not compete at an Olympic Games, but at the Worlds. There is an opportunity now for them to do that as Canadians. Now, they're not going to be in the triathlete championships, quite obviously. Uh, Nikolai's going to have to learn how to swim, but this make no mistake is a very good team oh no question rod and they're just starting to realize their potential i think what they have is first of all an equal strength both of them super strong and powerful they have a dramatic presentation uh, coached by marie france dubre patrice lausanne and their school of coaches in montreal they just weren't able for her to get her passport to uh, to compete for Denmark. And the Danish Association, the Figure Skating Association, was so great with them to say, we understand if you'd like to switch and skate for Canada. And they've supported them. They've had to uh, go remain out of international competition for the year. Um, and that year is up right after this competition. So should they uh, make the podium here, they could go to four continents and the world championships representing Canada. So this is new territory, though Laurence again has skated as a Canadian in the past. This is the first time they skate together at a national championship under the Maple Leaf. You can see here the way they move. The uh, rhythm dance this season is a tango romantica for the compulsory portion of the dance. Uh, it's a tango with elements, and they're warming up some of the elements here. So now, Fournier Baudry, Nikolai Sorensen, Danish champions at the Canadian Nationals. I think we're pretty authentic and just really true to ourselves even in our performances and yeah and then I think we try not to put any label on it ourselves just be ourselves and be be authentic to the to, to what we love and then and then let the let the people who watch us judge and then that that'll be it and we're happy with yeah. that right yeah. yeah partnership on and off the ice remember a couple of decades ago when it was virtually unheard of. You couldn't skate from different no. countries. And now the borders are wide open and everybody can, but you do have some citizenship issues in right. some countries. Their goal is to skate at an Olympic Games. That's yeah. what they want to do someday. And the way they're skating, they just may do that. And I've been so impressed with the uh, group of ice dancers that you will see these two in this warm up. But in the next warm up, Caitlin Weaver, Andrew Poget, Piper Gillis, and Paul Poirier. I mean, these teams are as good as any team in the world. It is so incredibly exciting. You add these two to the mix, Coach Patrice. Lowe's on there and uh, really Canada is just so fortunate where it sits as a country in the world of ice dance. Two. Representing Canada. I've been skating in the Nationals overseas in Denmark. Laurence Fournier Baudry from LaSalle, Quebec was skated under the Danish flag with Nikolai Sorensen and now here is their first foray at the Canadian Nationals. But don't expect them to look like newcomers. Skating to Adios Nonino, and right away 
you can feel their command of the ice and the audience. with this compulsory dance. of entry into these twizzles. Look at the unison. And again, covering the ice in perfect synchronicity. been impressed by their power. Now it's the level of de detail that they've brought to their performance that has really made it remarkable. Normally, you wouldn't see a team of this caliber skating in a first flight at the Nationals, but again, because they come over from overseas, technically newcomers, but certainly not veterans. They've skated at the Worlds. They finished 13th the last two years on the planet. Three-time Danish champions now here in Canada. They've always been technically strong. As I said, I've always been a fan of their power. Now they've added artistry, a softness, and a refinement that is truly going to make them world class. Welcome to Canadians. And remember, she is Canadian. Welcome back. Yes. Final flight still ahead. This team will be in first. Don't forget Weaver Poge and, of course, Gillis and Poirier. Part of the esteemed and prestigious Dance Factory in Gap One, Montreal, with Patrice Lazon and Marie France Debray, Laurence Fournier Baudry, Nikolai Sorensen. The Danish Canadian connection. And watch that e entrance into the Twizzles. No room for error. You see the weaving between the turns, arm gestures leg position, speed, giving it the highest level of level four for the Twizzles. Such a mature performance. Choreography by Romain Hagenauer. Again, we're, we're not used to seeing that in a first flight when a team like that because of protocol, because they are new to this. Normally, you would kind of go in the rankings. Wow. And the draw, look at this number, 79. 79. Four, and one. boy, big, big marks technically broad. There was only one three, all level fours. And that has just skyrocketed their score. 
Thank you, Denmark. <laughs> Laurence Fournier Beaudry, Nikolai Sorensen now skating for Canada. What a skate at the Nationals, and they are with Sarah. Thank you, Rod. Okay, so you have competed on the international scene before. This isn't anything new to you, except it's Canadian national, so it is. What goes through your mind before you step out on the ice? So today, actually, it was funny. I said to <laughs> Laurence right before going on for the warm-up, yeah. she said, welcome home, baby. And so I think it's for us, it's all about just coming home. And I mean, I've been here for nine years, almost now, and, and Montreal and Canada has been amazing and just open, open arms for everything. And, and so we just, we really loved the experience and it, and, and it felt right. It's been yeah. a long time since we've been in a big stadium and uh, we love that, you know, it's always a little bit more bright and, and so you really get, get your chance to shine. Felt actually like a mini world championships. There are so many good teams in Canada. That's why that. I was looking at you sometimes like that, because you <laughs> shine, you're so beautiful that I like, I have to. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're going to let these two continue on. Congratulations, Thank you two, on a great so skate, Thank Rod. You. Oh, we love those two.